So we try and stay in that 10 minute mark. If you know me, I always go over, but it is what it is. All right, you guys, we're just gonna start with some light high knees here, not super high, just nice and light. What we wanna do here is pull that belly button in nice and tight. So we start waking up the core. High ponytail is not going to work for these. Good, nice and light. Very nice. The way you want to think about doing is popping your chest and almost taking your body and leaning it back so that you can pull that belly button all the way up. Good. We're going to reverse. So we're just going to take our feet back. Again, just a nice quick warm up so we don't jump into cold core muscles. We do not want to do that. Good. Oh, I feel my legs. I did like a climb ride on my bike this morning, so I feel it. Good, make sure you breathe. About 10 more seconds and we're gonna flip it back forward. We're gonna go one more back and then we'll hop into it. Three, two, one, good, flip, knees up. Again, nice and soft. We're not doing crazy hits or anything right now, we're just warming everything up. Thinking about engaging that core. <laughs> Good. Nice and soft on your feet. Three, two, one. Good. Flip it around. Back. Same thing. We're not going crazy. You should be warm. Your heart rate should be elevated a little bit. Especially if you just finished a cup of coffee, like I did. I quickly downed it. <clears throat> Good. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. All right, you guys, if you want the extra burn, we're gonna go ahead and put our band on. If you do not want it, skip the band. We're gonna do three exercises today. We're gonna go on plank, just an elbow plank. We're gonna do leg drops, one of my absolute favorite for hitting the core. I will give you a modification because they are hard. And then mountain climbers. We're gonna go, I'm not gonna tell you how long we're gonna go for, but we're gonna go. We're gonna take a little break and then we're gonna go back and do it again. Yes, good. So elbow plank, elbows go right underneath your shoulders. Not in front, not below. Right underneath. Feet are going to go straight back. We're not going to have our butt up here. We're going to have it flat. If it's too much, you can go ahead and go down to your knees. But we're going to go up and hold. In three, two, one, push it up. So what I want you to do here is focus on your breathing. You take a nice deep breath in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth and think about your core retracting. So you wanna pull it in super tight with that nose breath in, and then you wanna tighten it even more when you breathe out. Good, nice deep breath in through your nose, like huge deep, deep breath in. And then blow it all out for three, two, one. Beautiful, we're gonna flip it right on over to our back. We're gonna go leg drops. Hands, never ever go underneath of your butt. That is a big no-no. They go beside. They do not go under. You lift your upper body up so there's no gap between the back, your back, and the floor. You are going to drop both and pull. If that is too much, you're gonna drop one and pull. If that is still too much, you're gonna go into a tabletop and you're just going to tap here. If you are advanced, hands can go behind your head. All right, three, two, one, drop, pull. Nice and controlled all the way down, all the way up. Nice deep breath in, deep breath out. If you are holding your breath, when you are doing your abs, 
You are not working them. Do not hold your breath. I see breath in, breathe out, pull. Nice deep breath in, breathe out, pull. Nice deep breath in, breathe out, pull. Same breathing for all of these exercises, okay? Good. One more, drop, pull, flip it over. There is no modification to these. Every single one of you can do it. I don't care if I know you or not. You can do a mountain climber. So high plank, knee in, out, in, out, that's it. I do not want fast mountain climbers. I want core engaged mountain climbers, okay? Nice and slow and controlled. Drive it in, extend it out. My abs are sore today. Whoo! Good. Breathe. Drive, extend. Drive, extend. One more. Drop. Shake it out. We're going to go back to the top in 30 seconds. So let it relax. Let it release. Think about did you feel pain anywhere? Was it uncomfortable anywhere? Modify, okay? If you, especially if you've had kids or just had kids, you need to modify it and let your core recover. That's why we do these little breaks. Let it relax, and then we're gonna tighten it again. But you in your mind have to tighten your core. These exercises will not tighten it. You in your mind have to tighten it yourself. All right, three, two, one, elbows, feet straight back, drop your bum, hold. Another good trick when you're doing a plank is to put your mind in your butt and squeeze your glutes. When you squeeze your glutes, that's also going to help you engage your core. Good. Ten more seconds. Yes, you can. We're only doing 30 seconds. That's nothing. Easy. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Flip it on over. Feet straight up. Hands go beside, not under or behind your head. Wherever you feel comfortable. Drop, pull. Nice deep breath in. Breathe out, pull. Nice, slow, and controlled. It's not fast. It is slow. Slow, same thing. Good, breathe. Yes, I should be able to hear you breathing. Everyone in your house should hear you breathing. Go, one more. Drop, pull, flip it over, mountain climbers. Hands go right underneath your shoulders, not in front, not behind. If you are someone who locks out your elbows, give them a nice soft bend. Drive. Good. Nice and controlled. Beautiful. If you are also in one of my programs, we did some crazy abs already this morning. Good. Three, two, one. Shake it out, release. We're gonna quickly do one more round and then we're done, okay? One more round. Take your quick breather, let your core relax. One more round. I know, Amanda, you're going over the 10 minutes again. Can't help it, I can't help it. <laughs> okay, one more round, we're gonna go in five seconds. Three, two, one. Elbows underneath those shoulders, feet straight back. Bum is not up here, we're here. Even when we're on our knees, we're not here. We're nice and flat, squeeze those glutes. Beautiful. Round three, we can slowly feel those abs. Now they're kind of burning. I know mine are. Three, two, one. Beautiful, nice and quick. Flip it over, hands behind your head. 
or under your sides, not under your back. Drop, pull, drop, pull, beautiful. If you need to modify, modify. My abs are so sore. Go, one more. Pull, flip it. Last set of mountain climbers, let's go. Hands under shoulders, drive that knee in. Beautiful. Want to know something? Want to know why my abs are sore? From lifting weights. I rarely ever, ever like actually take time and work abs. I hate working abs. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Relax. That is to tell you that everything you do your core should be engaged. And if you notice that it's not doing like 10 minutes of abs or something a day, just kind of gets your mind into your core. And then you learn how to engage your core properly. Because if you've never worked your core before, you don't know how to engage your core. So like example, this today I was doing shoulder press. The first thing I do, like right now, I feel my core super tight. I have to engage my core to lift a weight. So any kind of weight you lift, you actually work your core, not your abs, your core. Our abs are something different. And again, depending on you, if you've had kids or not, it's going to be different for everybody. So putting your mind on wherever you're working is the best thing you can do to work your core. Okay, let's just quickly do a nice little stretch. We're just gonna relax them a little bit. So just drop hands to the floor. Just hang, relax. Like honestly, I don't, I put a lot of abs in my programs, but I rarely ever do them myself. Unless I'm doing lives, so then I do my abs. Mind and muscle connection, it's a powerful thing. If you do not know how to do it, start working on it. Good, let's bring it on up. We're just gonna reach fingertips to the ceiling as high as you can. Again, core, that belly button should be pulling up, 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 up. And relax, beautiful you guys, that was 10 minutes. We are gonna do tomorrow's at 9 a.m. I will post it later. And yeah, I hope you liked it. It was nice, it was quick, it was simple. I just want you guys to learn, especially if you've never done something with me, just how powerful it is to actually think about your core when you're working it, okay? Let me know if you liked it. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow at nine for another 10 minutes. I need to let my core recover. Like, <laughs> I don't know what I did, but it is so hard. Okay, you guys, I'll talk to you soon.